Hi, Sophie Watson here, helping corporate and entrepreneurial women to get back in control of stress and anxiety. Today, I wanted to talk to you about responsibility. Now, do you feel that your life isn't where you actually want it to be? And who do you feel is responsible for that? Who do you feel is responsible for your happiness or for you being unhappy? Um, who do you feel is responsible for you not progressing to where you really want to be? At the end of the day, it's actually you. So it's, it's all down to ourselves to take responsibility for everything in our lives. We need to take responsibility for our own happy, happiness. We can't um, place that on somebody else. We can't put place that on a relationship that that other person has to make us happy. It's not going to happen. It won't work. That is not a, um, a good enough relationship. Always depending on somebody else to make you happy. Your happiness is actually your responsibility. So if you want to be happy, you need to work on yourself first and foremost. So that's having a look at the wider things in life. That's having a look at every area in your life. So what areas of your life are you maybe not happy with? Is it your relationships? Is it where you live? Is it your job? Is it your health? Now we can all understand that our health is actually our own responsibility because that's how we feel inside. What we eat is our responsibility. What we ingest into our body is our responsibility. If we smoke, it's our responsibility to give up if it's having a detrimental effect on our health, which it can do. So have a think about that. What are you currently doing that you're not happy with? Nobody can change it but you. So it is your responsibility to change that. Anything that you don't like in your life, you actually have control over. So it's down to you whether or not you want to stay in that job. Now, a lot of people make excuses for staying in a job. Oh, I won't get the same money elsewhere. Oh, nobody's going to employ me at my age. All those kinds of excuses. But actually, have you actually been out and have you tested water and have you tried it? What have you done to actually try and get yourself out of that job that you don't like? Because no one can do it for you. It's down to you. So how about those relationships as well? Are your relationships, are they following a pattern? Are you going in and out of relationships constantly? Are they following the same trend? If they are, then you need to stop and have a look at that and work out what's going wrong. Why are all these relationships going wrong? It's your responsibility to look at that. It's not somebody else's responsibility to make you happy. Get happy first and then you'll find the right relationships for you. At the end of the day, the only person that we actually spend our whole lives with are ourselves. So you have to become your own best friend. It's your responsibility to look after yourself, not somebody else's. I'll leave you with that thought. If you need any further help or you want to make a comment on this or share it with your friends, put write in the comments below. And as I say, share it and let's see what comes out of this because it's really interesting to see who actually um, feels that they are responsible for their own lives and who feels that they're not. So leave a comment and I'll see you all soon. I hope you find those tips helpful. Uh, now, if you are a woman working in the corporate or entrepreneurial world and you would like a bit of help, and to get back in control of stress and anxiety, then please head along to my website, 
On there, you can register for a free session with myself. You just need to complete the box on the home page, submit your details, and Rachel, who is my diary manager, or myself, will be in contact with you as soon as possible to book you in. Now, the session's an hour long, and it can be via Skype or in person. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, we can do this session. So just go along, complete your details and submit it and I'll be in contact with you as soon as possible. The website you need to visit is www.sophiewatson-therapy.com.